the the program is starting today and uh, why this actually why this program uh, is needed today there are a lot of workshops happen in most countries most cities there are pharmacovigilance audits inspections workshops do take place uh, a lot of these workshops are one day two day kind of events where you're learning at a very rapid pace so we thought why not you know split this over several weeks instead of you know uh, sending uh, giving this imparting this sort of a knowledge and interaction instead of you know eight hours or 16 hours of workshop model why don't we do this spread it over several weeks and see how we can uh, make a better uh, learning model uh, the growth in pv audits the pharmacovigilance is growing else most of you are from the pharmacovigilance domain or pharma pharma industry you see how the pharmacovigilance is growing globally uh, years back when pv perhaps was early days in 2010 uh, that was the period when the pv was at a very nascent stage in india and several other countries but if we see the progress in the last uh, one and a half decades the PV is growing fast. PV is now becoming part of most uh, the part of the regulatory network in most sort of a regulatory agencies. Uh, uh, most pharmaceutical companies, the global pharmaceutical companies, have helped in fact uh, growing uh, the pharmacovigilance. The large number of consulting firms have also helped growing the skill set uh, globally in the pharmacovigilance domain. Uh, the there is increased scrutiny now uh, the as the all the pharmaceutical companies or their service providers they all are now liable to be uh, regulated the inspected by the regulatory agencies hence it's very important for us to develop the skills which will help us in meeting the standards uh, the or the regulatory compliances of the regulatory agencies Pharma has been growing. There is a growth in the uh, drugs. The new markets are growing. And that's where I think the need of the robust PV system is uh, important. Both regulators and the pharmaceutical companies that now the emphasis is on the patient safety. And both the government, the regulatory agencies, the uh, not-for-profit organization pharmaceutical companies are now working together to ensure the you know safeguarding of the patient well-being and that's where the role of pv audits and the auditors like you is going to be uh, important in the coming days the clinical trials uh, instead of earlier uh, restricted to 10 15 countries now the trials are happening globally uh, more and more countries are uh, you know developing the new sort of guidelines regulations uh, there are companies who are investing into the different geographies uh, you can see the growth in the clinical trials globally now hence you will re need the expertise during the clinical trials also the uh, role of the uh, pv auditors the direct-to-consumer marketing is another area where it is sort of a, the drugs are going OETC and a large number of, you know, uh, uh, safety issues are emerging. So hence the requirement will be there. Emphasis now, the regulator, as we spoke earlier, the regulators are now uh, more emphasis uh, to the post-marketing surveillance. Uh, how do we collect data? The public awareness, uh, uh, the public awareness program. Earlier patients take the country like India and many other countries where the patients did not know what to do next uh, when any adverse event happens. But today, post-COVID world at least, you know, there's a lot of awareness which has increased amongst the patients that how to report today. And more work, although is required in that area, uh, but there is a substantial progress in that space. The, the collection of data, how do we collect data? The more and more uh, data is being generated. You have in the post-marketing environment, today there are publications, there are IT systems, there are social media, uh, there are scientific journals, there are doctors. 
So how do we use the technological advancements to collect this data now? And that's where to ensuring that the you know technologies do provide us this accurate data, the role of audits is going to be more and more uh, important. Uh, at the same time, the cost is important. The as you all are part of this industry, the PV is not a revenue center. The PV doesn't earn the money and but it's at the same time it's very important uh, to stay focused on the cost effectiveness and if we have a robust uh, pv audit systems good pv auditors it may help companies in saving a lot of money in future on litigations and the several you know other challenges uh, this is the broad program structure you will all receive this email uh, uh, by monday uh, there will be minor changes as we progress into the program but this is the broad sort of a uh, uh, structure of the program and there will be some more couple of more sessions with we are currently uh, in discussion with the regulators so hopefully uh, or the inspectors, former inspectors, we plan to bring them as a part of the program towards the end so you can have the meaning, meaningful debate and discussions with the inspectors as well. Uh, hence, that particular program is still dates are not finalized, but uh, towards the end you will receive because these are the uh, highly busy former inspectors, so we intend to bring them uh, as the part of the program. A uh, little bit about the program admin issues. Uh, you all will have as soon as you uh, your admission process. Some of you have completed, some of you have not. As soon as you complete, you will receive the access to the learning management portal where you can access all your program presentations, content, audio, video recordings of each of these sessions uh, would be made available. Uh, any issues there, you will have the support email IDs uh, mentioned there. Sessions would be scheduled on the weekly basis, largely on the same format which I've shown you. So there is a team, academics team, which will going to be interacting with you from time to time. Uh, Ms. Shweta from the academics and the Gauri, who is the senior program executive, would be in touch with you on a regular basis on the program uh, dates and the times. Uh, and then all subject matter queries, please send it to the info at clinimines.com. If any, you need any responses from any specific trainers, I'm sure they will share their email IDs with you. But as a process, send all your course related, you know, you have any questions related with the any topic, send it to us. We'll get you the responses. Alternatively, uh, you can always uh, uh, check uh, with the trainer during the session as well. Session alerts will come to your email IDs and WhatsApp. Whoever is using uh, WhatsApp, you will receive the uh, email IDs. Uh, uh, the, check the program uh, spam folders always uh, from your email. Uh, there will be session alerts given to on your learning management portal. You will have all the information related with the past and the future sessions at your LMS. All the LMS formalities would be completed uh, as soon as uh, your admission process is completed. Regarding the assessments and the certifications, the, there will be a final assessment at the end of the program. There will be multiple choice questions online through our LMS. Uh, as a part of the assessments, we'll be reviewing some audit reports. There will be a discussion, face-to-face -face discussion with some auditors. They'll, upon completion of your uh, final assessment, you will receive the e-certificates on your email IDs, and the hard copies would also be sent to you. Uh, with this, I bring this to an end, my part.